My name is Jamie Hames and I work for Warner Music Nashville and I've been with them since 2012. My name is Elena Moran and I've been working in the music industry for almost six years now. So we are Brooklyn Basin Records and we are a label, a very small label of three artists. One of them is Ron, um, Ron Pope. And then we have two others, Tim Olstad and Truett. But I do a lot of invoice tracking and dealing with um, making sure everybody's getting paid. I um, handle a lot of uh, business affairs stuff, making sure that uh, uh, we've got contracts and um, guest artist signatures and you know sample clearances and all that kind of stuff for different projects. If there's um, if a guest artist appears on a Cole Swindell record, um, I'll be gathering all the info so that we can go to the other artist record label and seek permission to have them appear on our record. When one of our guys produces in-house, whether it's Reed or McVie, the project kind of becomes a robot lemon project and is done pretty much exclusively in-house. So Reed will produce and engineer, um, McVie and I will do vocals or digital editing, uh, Dan will do the assistant work, get it all set up, Reed will mix it, Dan will master it, and before you know it, all, I do all the billing and it's all out, plug and chug, in one singular location. Pretty special considering everyone's moved to home studios and is broken away. We're still a community between the four of us. And now, you know, there's people like us where we have, you know, it's kind of a mom and pop business that we're running, but it's a global brand, we have global distribution, and we promote our records, you know, we outsource things around, around the world. We'll hire a publicist here and a radio person there. and. You know, we have an American booking agent and a booking agent outside of the, of the U.S. and Blair coordinates the efforts of lots of people all over the world that we work with. Uh, and so, for us, I think that uh, originally, I didn't know that this path existed. We had to create it. Four days of tracking, two sessions per day. So you have four time cards, four B4s. Um, with that, you've got 10 songs, usually three songwriters each, so that's 30 pieces of label copy. And then you have to get 10 different lyrics. So we've got, then we've got overdubs. Let's say we do four different overdub musicians, so that's four different B4s. Then you've got your background singers, so that's Aftra. Um, let's say you have just one background singer on each song, 10 pieces of paperwork. Um, last but not least, the producer is getting time cards filled out, so 10 more songs, 10 more B4s, let's see, we've got time cards, 8, 8, 10, after we've got 10, label copy and lyrics, we've got 40, 50, 60, 76, just on the basic production coordination side. Um, invoices, God. 30 invoices minimum that cross my plate. So over 100 pieces of paperwork. Over the course of a project, I collect at least a ream of paper. They're constantly feeding that paperwork to the label, who then needs to keep track of it and sort it. We handle all the accounting for all of our projects, and so it can be a complicated process because we bring in different musicians almost every single time, and so that's collecting their W-9s and like making them sign releases, you know, photo releases, video releases. Um, you know, just making sure we keep track of that. And, you know, he takes different musicians on tour a lot. And so I have to remember every single time that I'm paying them, like, oh, you have to send me a W-9 or else I'll forget, or I'll have to, like, track you down, you know, at tax time next year. And so it would be lovely if that was just, like, all in one place. One of the most obvious pain points is when you have a project that has 12 songs and it has about 24 different producers <laughs> because you have co-producers and production teams uh, working on each song and it's different for each and every single song. A lot of times it deals with going one-on-one -on -one to the engineer, the producer, collecting the paperwork, confirming billing with them, and most importantly having every piece of communication CC me on it. I want to make sure that I'm in the loop because if not you have issues where someone accidentally deposited an extra 20 grand into someone's account and no one noticed. Um, that looks bad on everybody's part because it means someone didn't notice when the invoice first went out or when the invoice was processed. 
And the goal is to keep open communication. So it's important to be able to one-on-one -on -one interact with every person in your recording party. You see lots of artists, you know, I know lots of people that are on major labels that are selling lots of records and, you know, are, are broke. Uh, <laughs> so we're in a position where we've been able to create something that's like an actual viable business that we control on our own. I think it's going to be important for everyone to have a way to operate their own business independently. Whether you're an artist in Idaho or you're a new up and coming band in Brooklyn, you need a way to manage your business both on a financial standpoint and a logistic standpoint. And I think it's important that we move kind of towards creating products that facilitate that. More and more artists are becoming independent and not relying on admin services from labels or publishers. They're doing that all in-house. So I think it's important to be able to kind of create a platform that supports the independent artists moving forward. Just shifting to where people are going and, and recognizing those trends and being willing to move and, and follow the music industry as it shifts, you know, that's been huge for us. Whilst that's how we've like kept the ship afloat and then, you know, go staying the course, I feel yeah. like as your artist's like career has grown. Jamber would keeps it simple by making it easy to find and you don't have to go searching through this file and then through this file and then through this file. You know, instead you're able to just pull it up on your screen and boom, it's right there. And if you need a printed copy, you can print a copy. If you need to email it, you don't have to scan it in. You don't have to retype all the lyrics out. It's just all right there. It's easily searchable. If I was able to use a platform and not have to constantly request information, deliver information physically or digitally, and was able to centralize it into one location, I think it would probably cut about my time in half, considering I don't have to constantly ask and remind people. I think that's a huge part of the job, is making sure that everyone is doing everything correctly. And that's a lot of wasted time. So if there's a way to digitally create accuracy and to check what people are doing and identify errors or missing pieces, that would save about half the time I spend on a project. I think transparency in accounting is incredibly important because that's the modern music industry. You know, that, that's what we're aspiring towards. Like you, you empower an artist by giving them all the information. You know, information is power. I think what's super important, um, especially as we move into the digital age, is accuracy and efficiency. Um, Without a doubt, what we're currently doing today is not accurate nor efficient. There are plenty of mistakes. I've made some myself, and so has everyone else. Um, what's important is to have a central location where everyone can see the same information. So what I see is the same thing that the A&R admin sees, and so I don't have to always request access for that information constantly. I get access to that information. It's just, for them, it's proprietary. It lives on their service rather than on a service that everyone else, is, else uses. So it'd be important to have everyone on the same page so that we don't have issues where people don't get paid or get paid twice as much or that people just get left off the credits. And that's a huge thing. With, with how we bring in our money, it's so important to me every week when it, whenever we get paid from whatever source is to find out how we got paid, who's paying us, you know, like what, what's doing particularly well, you know, this year, month, week, whatever. Making sure that they get paid so that they can continue to do, to do what they love and provide for their families. That's, that's an awesome reward for me. My favorite part of the job is just the, is the creative aspect that I get to do. Um, coming from an advertising and branding background, it's, it's great for me to be able to work with a project from the ground up, you know, working with somebody who has an idea of what they want to be, but not really sure, you know, what the full, like fully fleshed out version of their project is going to look like. I love working with de development that way. But at the end of the day, it's always the people. And working with musicians and songwriters and engineers and you know studio guys and producers, they are some of, they're like the salt of the earth. They're they are so fun and they're real and they're, they're just great people to work with. And so that's what makes me want to come to work every day is I get to work with people I really like. So I love finishing the record getting it out into the world, and then seeing people take the music and have it become a part of their lives. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, if you create music, you're creating things that touch people's lives, and I think that truly is a special, special moment.